heart and soul of our school. We are extremely academic, and really all knowledge comes from God. God is, to me, the essence of God is a supreme intellect. And so teaching the girls that respect for intellectual values incorporates a lot more than just classroom learning. I think it incorporates a sense of honesty in the work you turn in. Uh, we're very concerned about always citing our sources and coming up with original ideas. So it incorporates art, originality. It isn't just, as they say, book learning. It is so much more than that. Um, it encompasses uh, critical thinking, finding alternative ways to solve problems, letting people rise to the hilt, which is also part of goal five. So it hits almost all of the goals. Goal five is taking a chance. And if you're gonna be a true scholar, you take a chance in everything you try in the classroom. That is a, a gift of being in an all-girls school because we don't have to worry about other people snickering at our answers <laughs> or we can trust one another in a great environment. That also incorporates goal four, building community. So actually goal two incorporates every essence of our school. Or you can say it in English. My class doesn't speak Spanish. Okay, Go. Right. Good. For me, uh, goal to me means uh, uh, development of each girl's potential to the fullest. Goal two uh, to me means academic excellence and I think uh, the fact that it's one of our five goals indicates um, or is a great way to model the importance of our college preparatory uh, curriculum here at Duchenne. Yeah. Uh, goal two, two, can't talk. A deep respect for intellectual values is uh, one of the main reasons I love working at Duchenne. I think I learn right along with you girls. So I have a deep respect for intellectual values because I'm learning right along with you. It seems like every day here, honestly, I learn something new that I didn't know before. It's a continuing process, a continuing education, and uh, one I deeply respect. to celebrate uh, achievements in academics, uh, I think what is much more important is not what GPA you've received or what grade you've received, but developing in each one of our students a love of learning and figuring out that uh, there is great joy in finding out new things and uh, learning new things and being able to talk with each other about the things that we've learned and uh, exploring the world together. That is goal two. Goal two is important to me because of the rigorous academic uh, schedule here at Duchenne. I know I was very prepared to go to college and it pays off in the long run, so I'm thrilled I had such a great education. Go. What does goal two mean to me? Um, I think I would say that goal two to me means um, trying to help, uh, help my students get an appreciation for education, whether it be what you're doing right now in the classroom, um, but also understanding that Education is a lifelong process. You're always going to be learning, whether it's in um, a formal environment, like a high school or university or something, but or when it's after that, you're still always learning something in life and how to take that and internalize it and help it make you a better person. That's how I would say I look at goal two. What goal two means to me 
You mean studying hard, doing your best, uh, never doubting yourself, uh, believing that you can do it, and um, but um, not settling for mediocrity. Just getting up there and being the best you can be because you have a lot to offer the world. What does goal two mean to you? I don't know. <laughs> goal two means to me. Um, I think that uh, goal two sticks out to me because I can put push my students to uh, a higher level of education uh, and know that they'll be ready for anything college can throw at them. Uh, what does goal two mean to you? Um, well, goal two means that to me that we have very high standards in this school and that um, I have an obligation to offer to students uh, a challenge to uh, help them when they don't understand, to offer help outside of school uh, because especially with math, we have a building subject, and if we don't understand one day, you know, the next day is not going to make too much sense. Um, I'm very pleased to be in an atmosphere, though, where um, learning is so important to students because that's not the way in so many schools. And um, it's a privilege to teach in that situation. And when, you know, people kind of forget <laughs> the importance of, of the goal, though, a small school, I have an opportunity to work with them and to um, try to convince them to, to catch up and to do what's needed.